All right, my name is Katie Petrolia, and the title of my project is EcoKeeping, which is a digital platform to help facilitate a sense of reciprocity with the land in the context of outdoor recreation in San Juan County. In my initial research phase, I was really struck by one particular quote stating that late carbon-based society has tended to render and define rural areas as postmodern consumption spaces, places which individuals can choose for residence, business, or play. I wanted to look at this through the lens of recreation and how it can be perceived as an extractive industry. In an, attempt, in an attempt to change that narrative, I began to look at the reasoning behind why people choose to recreate. A research study from the University of Houston downtown was used to determine the core values and motivations of recreation. The results came down to four primary motivators, including escapism, personal mastery, social influence, and competition, which all come down to self-beneficial means. I then wanted to break down elements of the experience that fuel the intrinsic motivation of recreators. These include the psychological perception of freedom, work in a non-capitalistic function, minimum social obligations, and is characterized by an element of play. I wanted to consider these factors in the development of my platform as a way to help fuel the intrinsic motivation towards reciprocal relationships between, hum between humans and nature. It is also important to recognize reciprocity as an indigenous value. The land is a sacred space that we have a privilege to enjoy and a responsibility to maintain and protect. I discovered my opportunity in the intersections of recreation and reciprocity. I wanted to facilitate a way to foster these interdependent human environment connections through a two-way flow of benefits and mutual responsibilities. This led me to the idea of a mobile app that would help users plan for outdoor recreation plan trips for outdoor recreation, learn about the significance of the land and how to visit respectfully, as well as identify opportunities to benefit the land in some way on the trip. Users of the app will complete tasks across four different categories, physical tasks, educational tasks, remote tasks, and organized events or service projects. After engaging in various ways, the user will earn badges that can add up to rewards for their stewardship. The primary users of this platform would be people who are interested in traveling to Bears Ears National Monument for outdoor recreation. There could also be secondary user groups, including anyone who's interested in having some impact in the area, whether that be someone that lives there already or someone who is unable to physically visit. Partners of the app would include organizations who work in the area, such as Friends of Cedar Mesa and the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance, who could not only offer useful information, but could also create tasks for recreators to partake in while exploring the area. So this shows a walkthrough of my prototype, starting with the type of user, signing up as a traveler, and then a brief overview of the app. Then the user gets started at the dashboard where you can see trips, completed tasks, badges, and the current level. There's also a link to the BLM information on the monument, as well as to Friends of Cedar Mesa's Visit with Respect guidelines. In the travel section, you can view upcoming trips and past trips, as well as plan a new trip. This is where you'll put in the central destination point of your trip, the radius around that point that you want to explore, and set a goal for how many tasks you will complete. After defining your plans, you can view all the opportunities available to you across the four categories. You can then tap on a pin corresponding with a point of interest in the area, such as a trailhead or campsite. Here you can view every opportunity you have in that area, as well as info on how to complete the tasks, historical significance of that particular area, and the impact of that task. After completing a task, you have the option to post a photo and leave a comment to reflect on the experience. There would also be a slightly different interface for organizers to manage the opportunities. Their dashboard would allow them to see the number of users as well as the other engagement data. Um, this is also where they would upload new tasks and events and attach any training or considerations that the user will need to know in order to complete the task properly. They can also share posts to share information, promote events, or motivate volunteers. Uh, this shows a journey map of one particular user of the app who is planning to visit the area. He first downloads the app and signs up, then inputs his trip information. He begins exploring the app as well as all the opportunities that are available to him. He first starts working on some remote tasks that he can complete before he visits, including reading the visit with respect guidelines, reading a book about the history of Bears Ears, and watching a documentary. He also sees an opportunity to donate some needed supplies in the area, so he collects them to bring with him and also signs up for an event with Friends of Cedar Mesa. 
Once he's made it to the campsite, he sets up and completes a few tasks while spending time around the area. First, he picks up some trash he finds nearby, then weeds some non-native invasive species, and also gives a visit with respect tip to a fellow camper he runs into. The next day, he goes on a hike and completes a few of these, a few of these tasks along the trail. After that, he goes climbing where he removes any leftover chalk that he sees on the rock walls and gives another person a tip on how to tread lightly. The next day, he attends an event with Friends of Cedar Mesa where he helps with archeology span recording and monitoring, site stabilization, and trail maintenance. When he gets back home, he records his completed tasks in the app, posts photos and reflections about the experience, and earns coinciding badges for those tasks. He moves to level two and receives an eco-keeping sticker in the mail for his stewardship. He then reads another book about Bears Ears and feels compelled to write a letter to legislators regarding the protection of Bears Ears National Monument. Next, he starts to plan another trip, signs up for some upcoming volunteer events, and starts the process of becoming a Visit with Respect ambassador. The impacts of this app would benefit the users, the land, and the organizations involved. It gets more people involved in conservation efforts and educates more of the visit visitors on how to visit respectfully. The user is given an opportunity to connect to the land in a unique way by giving back to it. This fosters reciprocity between people and nature in the recreation industry. NGOs can benefit from this by having access to more volunteers for projects and deploying people visiting the area to work on smaller tasks while they focus on bigger projects and initiatives. Overall, it's beneficial in a way that helps motivate people to advocate for the protection of sacred land. And that's what I've landed on with this project. So I'll just open it up to questions and feedback. 